Hey guys, it's still your friendly neighborhood reporter at Debimpe or Lajika. And like I always do, I bring you good vibes and stories that made the news recently. If you're watching for the first time, this is So This Happened and you're welcome to the show. Guys, when you think you have seen and heard it all, something happens that shows you haven't seen anything at all. <laughs> a man named Apollos Undibisi sold his newborn baby for 350,000 Naira after lying to the mother that she had a stillbirth. <laughs> so earlier this year, Mrs. Deborah Onukago, who is the mother of the child, accepted the story that she had a stillbirth in good faith and subsequently became pregnant again for the same man. Undubisi suggested that they use the same maternity home where she had the alleged stillbirth. <laughs> Deborah objected, but her husband Undubisi insisted and told her that they will sell the child on delivery. This statement intensified Deborah's suspicion on what must have happened to the previous child which he claimed died on delivery, and she reported the case to the police. That was how investigation started, and it was revealed that the stillbirth earlier reported was not true. The baby boy was delivered on the 25th of June 2021, but the suspects conspired and sold the child for 350,000 Naira. Investigation also revealed that 300,000 Naira was given to Undubisi. The balance of 50,000 Naira was taken by Rose Godwin, who operates the maternity ward. But wait though, what can make him sell his child? Could it be poverty? Or is a father not meant to be a child's protector? What kind of father is this one safe? Now what for Mr. Undubisi? Moving on to the next story is the story of a lady who got married to herself and after three months files for a divorce. <laughs> but wait though, why will she marry herself? <sighs> or more, seems like this one don't chop constant breakfast. <laughs> I mean heart breaks. But well, Bogo Alamaja breakfast is not new now. <laughs> when asked for a reason, she confessed that she met somebody else. So, Chris Galera noted that she grew tired of relying on men, so decided to marry herself in a formal ceremony which was held in September 2021. The 33-year-old model insisted that she wasn't disappointed not to have a groom and instead was embracing it. And now, 90 days later, she decided to divorce herself. Fortunately for Chris, who hails from Sao Paulo in Brazil, she has since met someone special and has even fallen in love, despite vowing to go so low. <laughs> Guys, it's not like I'm not happy for her, but wait, if she can't stay put in a marriage to herself, how will she stay put to someone else? My country people, the way this NSAS issue is going, I am beginning to wonder if people truly have the fear of God. Haba! <laughs> From the old Lekki massacre, to the memorial, to the presentation of reports by the panel, then down to our Minister of Information and Culture. Ah, 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 Ejama Berolon. The nine-member panel had in its report claimed that at least nine persons were killed at the Lekki Toll Plaza when soldiers and policemen stormed the scene. So there was a press conference in Abuja where the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, insisted that there was no massacre at the Lekki Toll Gate on the 20th of October 2020. Ha! Remember we saw several persons appear before the panel to share their testimonies. Mr. Lai Mohamed didn't stop there. <laughs> he also described the leak report of the Lagos State panel as fake. Okay now, let's assume he is right. We have seen the panel present evidences, but please, Mr. Lai Mohammed, can you present one evidence to back up your assertion? I am waiting. Hey loves, now I'm done. We have come to the end of this episode. Be free to share your comments on any of the stories. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all our social media handles for by the second news update. Until next time, my name is Adebinke Olajiga. Thank you for watching. <laughs>